2.0. Uh, Translation Core is a piece of software developed by Unfolding Word uh, that is for checking a Bible translation, especially for people checking a Bible translation in the language that they speak. So this is setup screen. Setup screen. The first thing you have to do then is log in uh, or use a pseudonym, which is what I did. Uh, you can use your Door 43 credentials or uh, choose whatever name you want. So today I'm Bob. Uh, next, you choose your project. You can import projects locally from your file system, both USF USFM2 or USFM3 or Translation Studio projects. Or if your project is already on Door 43, you can download it directly from there. Once your project is selected, then you need to check uh, to select your tool. So we're going to start by looking at translation notes. Um, you can get as granular as you want, choosing whichever uh, specific topics you want to check. Uh, today, we're going to look at all of them. This is translation notes. Uh, across the left-hand side here, you can see all the different categories uh, that I selected. Uh, so we're going to be checking all of those. Uh, the category we're on right now is metaphor. So a metaphor, over here we have an article that explains what it is and how to translate it. A whole bunch of information there. Across the middle, we have a specific note to this particular instance. Uh, what we are checking right now on this check is right here, empty talkers and deceivers. So across the top, then, we have all sorts of highlighting. So in the Greek, this is what that means. Uh, in the English, empty talkers and deceivers. Uh, so across all the different translations, uh, any aligned translation, uh, you will have highlighted uh, what that means. So the general workflow then is uh, you come here and you highlight what that means in your translation. If that's it, you click Save. And you can see, yep, that's, that's correct. If that's good, then you can click Save and continue and move on. You move through all of one topic and then you move to the next. So here we are. Uh, now we're on to metonymy. So if you don't know what that is, you can look over here, read up on that, and then you select those of the circumcision. Read the, read the note, make sure you understand what that means, and then you can go and highlight that one. Click Save, Continue, and on you go through all of those. So that's translation notes. Translation words is almost identical. Uh, just that the content is different. You're checking key terms, names, or other terms. So you get down to the word alignment tool. That's what we're going to look at next. The primary purpose of this is to align your translation, uh, your translation to the Greek. So I've already started here. So I'm going to go along. I'm going to take this one here, uh, Wana Danganya, and I'm going to attach that to that one. Uh, we can do multi-select. We can uh, merge multiple Greek words together. Uh, their lexicon is there. So yeah, whatever, whatever is needed to uh, get the meaning of your translation captured into the Greek. So the unintended consequence then is many times by lining this up, you realize that maybe a phrase in the Greek is missing in your translation or something in your translation was added unnecessarily. And so many times you're going to want to edit your text. So you can come in here, uh, you can click edit. And let's say we want to change this word, wanadanganya, and we're going to say, actually, we want to change it to liar. Uh, you capture the meaning for that. Uh, but then what happens is you are going to invalidate some of the work that has been done. So you go here, and wanadanganya was here, but now we changed it to liar. So it gets kicked back over here. And so then we just have to redo the work and pull it back over. But then that also invalidates some of the work that we did in the in the translation notes. We made a selection with that one. So now we're going to have to go back in there and fix that work. Before we do that, though, I want to show you uh, the last big piece of translation core, and that's that you can check from a language other than English. So whenever the content is translated and ready to go, uh, you can load it up in that language. So here we are in uh, translation core with Hindi. So now you can see all of the menu is in Hindi, all of the notes are in Hindi, uh, the articles are in Hindi, uh, the buttons are still in English, but we can change that real quick. Uh, we'll change that to Hindi, and then our entire app will be in Hindi. So if we want to find the one that was invalidated and fix that, we can use the menu, filter, uh, and there it is. Uh, there's the one that was um, invalidated. So and here we are. And so we just redo that work, uh, reselect that, and click Save. 
and then that little broken link goes away and we're done. So when you're done with all of this, you can come back to your project and all of the data uh, is captured in a CSV file. And I can't read Hindi, but I think it's this one. So you click on that one and what ends up happening is you get all of the data. Uh, so here's the translation words data. Uh, here's the translation notes checking data, all of the checks, all of the everything, all of the selections that you've made, everything is captured right there so that you can then go and offline uh, check and verify and, and know exactly what happened, uh, who did it, when they did it, which tool they were in, everything. So that is Translation Core. The goal then is to get a clear, natural, accurate, and church-approved Bible translation. Thanks for watching.